Hello, I hope this works. This is my second reading tonight. The other one didn't upload the audio. Um, after I was uploading and reading and editing, Eric's gone to bed, he works, and it's really late. And so in order for those who follow along to have tomorrow's reading incomplete, I'm going to redo the reading all by myself. And so I'm gonna start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray, Almighty God, that we can do this and do it well, and that we have the cooperation of our local media, our servers, our YouTube, and whoever it is that processes it when we send it out. Um, we have no idea why. We have continual, constant technical problems, but you know, Lord, all things. And so bless me as I read faithfully each day your word. Bless all who hear, and may we be able to get it done and upload it tonight for those who Tune in daily to follow along. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Bless us, I pray, as we try to be obedient in reading your word each day. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you can hear me. Chapter 4 of First Chronicles, and it's a lot of words that I can't pronounce because it's four names. So be patient and bear with me, even if you, if you even listen. Eric doesn't like this genealogy stuff. He likes the uh, stories and history. I have this little thing flashing at me. I don't know where it is. I'm going to ignore it. The uh, descendants of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shaboal. And it's late and my eyes don't work late at night and the lighting's bad in here, so be patient. Rianna, son of Shobal, was the father of Jubath and Juhath. And father of Ahumai and Lahad, and these were the clans of the Zonites, and these were the sons of Elam, Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash. Their sisters were named Hazalipunai and Penuel, and the father of Gadar and Ezer, the father of Hashah. Ah. These were the descendants of her, the firstborn of Ephraim. Breath, Hath, and father of Beth Leham. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two, two wives, Hala and Nara. And Nara bare him Abazan, and Hefner, and Temnani, and Hashtai. And these were the descendants of Nara, the son of Hala, Zareth, Zehor, Ethnan, and Koaz. And these were the fathers of Anad and Hasibor, Ba, and of the clans of Aherathel, son of Haram. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. And Jabez cried out to God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Caleb, Shehar's brother, was the father of Meher, who was the father of Eshton, and Eshton was the father of Beth Rapha, and Pesa, and Tihina, and the father of Nahash, and these were the men of Reka, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel, Seria, the sons of Othniel, Hatha, and Menathai, and Menathai was the father of Ophrah. And Sariah was the father of Joab, the father of Gohan-Harishim. It was called this because its people were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, sons of Jephaniah, Eru, Ella, and Nam, the son of Allah, Kenaz. The sons of Jacobel, Jeph, Zithah, Tariah, and Ashriel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Ephor and Jalon, and one of Mered's wives gave birth to Miriam, Shimini, Shimei, and Ishba, the father of Eshtinah. His Judean wife gave birth to Jared, the father of Gedor, Heber, and the father of Sokol, and Jakuthiel, the father of Zenoah. These were the children of Pharaoh's daughters, Bithiah whom Mered had married, the sons of Hodea's wife, the sister of Neham, the father of Kelah Kel Kel and Germite, 
the Ethemir Oa, and the Macathite, the sons of Shimeon. I see these two flags. Maybe I should actually open them because you know why? These are the things that actually have to do with editing these videos. So let's hope that it makes it work better, not worse. Let's carry on. And I'm not sure where I was. Um, I think I landed with the word shimmy Ah, just as she is so kind. First, I have been married, married, and married. The sons of Hadiah's wife, sister, and Naham, the father of Kealath, and Garmir, and Eshtimeko, then the Machathite, and the sons of Shimon, Ammon, and Rinna, and Ben Hana, and Talon, the descendants of Ishai, Zophath, and Ben Zobeth, the sons of Shelah, sons of Judah, Er, the father of Lucab, La Laada and the father of Marasha and the clans of the lines workers of Beth Abner, Jokum and men of Koezba, Josh and Sarah, who ruled the Moab and the Jebusai, Lehem. These recorded for are from the ancient times, and they were the potters who had lived in Netaim and Gadara. They stayed there and worked for the king. Simeon. The descendants of Simeon, Nimeo, Jemin, Jerib, Jehra, and Shal. Shalam was Shal's son, Mebsam, his son, and Mishman, his son. The descendants of Mishman, Hamiel, his son, Zakur, his son, Shimeel, his son. Shimeel had sixteen sons and sixteen daughters, but his brothers did not have many children, so their entire clan did not become as number numerous as the people of Judah. They lived in Beersheba and Molada, Hazar, Shimeel, Beha, Ezram, Tolad, Bethel, Haram, Zigdad, Beth Manodoth, Hazar, Sisim, Beth Berai, Sheriah. These were the towns until the reign of David. The surrounding villages were Etam, Ayan, Raman, Token, Asham, five towns, and all the villages around these towns as far as Bala. These were the settlements, and they kept the genealogy records. Mathika, Jebnel, Eshel, son of Amaz, and Joel. I guess you just seen the top of my head, sorry about that. But anyway, here we go. Sons of Seriah, the sons of Ashiel, also Elian, Noah, and Jacob. <laughs> Three names. Jathoaha, Asia, and Adel, Jishimiel, Benia, and Zizza, son of Shiphai, the son of Amazon, and son of Jediah, the son of Shimrai, and the son of Shimal. The men listed above by name were leaders of their clans, and their families increased greatly, and they went to the outskirts of Gedar, to the east in the valley of search for pastures for their flocks. They found rich, good pasture, and the land was spacious and peaceful and quiet, and some Hamites had lived there formerly. And these were the children of Ham, I'm guessing. The men whose names were listed came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah. They attacked the Hamites and their dwellings, and also the Meunites, and were there and completely destroyed them, as an evidence to this day. Then they settled in their places, because there was pasture for their flocks, and five hundred of these Shimeites led the Piliatiah, Neariah, Rephiah, and Aziel, the sons of Ishai, invaded the hill country of Seir. Air. They killed the remaining Amalekites, Amalekites and escaped, and they have lived there to this day. Chapter 5. Reuben. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. The, he was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's marriage bed, 
his rights as firstborn were given to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel, so he could not be listed in the genealogy record in accordance with his birthright. And though Judah was the strongest of his brothers and a ruler came from him, the knights of the firstborn belong, the rights of the firstborn belonged to Joseph, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanoch, Pelah, Hezron, and Carmion. These descendants of Joel, Shikamah his son, Gog his son, Shimmerai his son, Micah his son, Riah his son, Baal his son, and Berah his son, whom Tigrath Peler, king of Asheria, took into exile. Berah was a leader of the Reubenites. Their relatives by clan listed according to the genealogies recorded. G. Al, chief Zechara, and Bela, son of Azaz, and son of Shemna, the son of Joel. They settled in the area from uh, Roar to Nebo and Bala Mian. To the east, they occupied the land of the edge of the desert that extended to the Euphrates River because their livestock had increased in Galilee during Saul's reign. They waged war against the king, the Haggites, who were defeated at their hands, and they occupied the dwellings of the Haggarites throughout their entire region east of the Gilead. Gad. The Gadites lived next to them in East Bashan, as far as Shalaka. Joel was the chief Shephan, and second then is Jaraniah, Nai, and Shephat and Beshan. Their relatives by family were Michael, Meshbaliam, the Sheban, Joriah, Jokan, Zaiah, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abeniah, son of Hurai, the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshuashiah, the son of Jathdo, and the son of Buzz. Ashiah, son of Abedel, and the son of Gurnai, was head of their families. The Gadites lived in Galilee, in Bashan, and its countryside uh, outlying villages, and on all the passage land of Shannon, as far as they extended. All these were entered in the genealogy recording during the reign of Jotham, king of Judah, and Jeroboam, king of Israel. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 444,716 men ready for military service, able-bodied men who could handle shield and sword, who could use a bow, and who were trained for battle. They waged war against the Hagarite, Jethur, Nafish, and Nadal. They were helped in fighting them, and God handed the Haggites and all their allies over to them, because they carried out to they called out to him during the battle, and he answered their prayer, because they trusted in him, and they seized the livestock of the Haggites, fifty thousand camels, two hundred fifty thousand sheep, and two thousand donkeys. They also took one hundred thousand people captive, and many others fell slain, because the battle was God's and they occupied the land until the exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh. The people of the half-tribe of Manasseh were numerous. They settled in the land from Bashan to Baal, Haram, and is to Shemai, Mount Haram. These were the heads of their families, Ephr, Ishai, Eli, Ezreal, Jeremiah, Hadoroa, the Jethiel, these were brave warriors, famous men, and heads of their families, but they were unfaithful to God, for all their fathers had prostituted themselves to the gods of the people of the land whom God had destroyed before them. So, the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Puck, king of Assyria, that is Tiglath, king of Assyria, who took the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh into exile. He took them to Hala, Habor, Hara, and the river Goshan, where they are to this day. I have to read all the way to 6. Chapter 6, Levi. The sons of Levi, Geshon, Kohath, Merah, Merai, the sons of Kohath, 
Aram, Ra, Ishkar, Hebron, and Israel, children of Amram, Aaron, Moses, Miriam, the son of Aaron, Nidab, Abihu, Elazar, and 